Make sure that the patient is comfortable and in a supine position on the cath lab table. Establish a central venous line. Insert a four or five French temporary balloon tip pacemaker catheter via the right internal jugular vein or other appropriate access vessel and position it in the apex of the right ventricle. Administer anticoagulant according to hospital protocol. If heparin is administered, check activated clotting time and monitor every 30 minutes after initial bolus of heparin and maintain ACT level greater than or equal to 250 seconds. Note, heparin may be administered at any time before, but avoid delaying beyond this point. The pigtail catheter will serve as a visual reference marker during deployment. Perform a surgical cutdown located approximately 2 cm below and parallel to the left clavicle and 4 to 5 cm lateral to the midclavicular line. Isolate and place two vessel loops around the axillary artery and supply slight tension on the vessel loops to provide additional exposure of artery. Place two standard double purse string sutures to create a 2 cm long oval shaped arterial access site. Puncture downstream side of oval shaped arterial access site using an 18 gauge thin wall needle. Insert standard O35 J tip guide wire through needle and advance into the subclavian artery. Exchange needle for a 7 French introducer to further dilate vessel, enlarging arterial access site in the upstream direction if necessary. Insert angiographic catheter over guide wire and advance both to the aortic valve under fluoroscopic guidance. Switch the standard guide wire for a 035 straight tip guide wire. Advance the guide wire across the aortic valve into the left ventricle. After crossing the native aortic valve with the guide wire, advance the angiographic catheter into the left ventricle. Switch the straight tip wire for an exchange length 035 J tip guide wire. Exchange angiographic catheter for a 6 French pigtail catheter. Remove the guide wire and connect the catheter to the transducer. Using both catheters, record the aortic pressure gradient. Using a RAO projection, advance the pigtail-shaped O35 super stiff guide wire through the pigtail catheter into the apex of the left ventricle. Remove pigtail catheter while maintaining guide wire position in the left ventricle. Exchange 7 French introducer for an 18 French introducer. Position the distal end of the 18 French sheath past the brachiocephalic artery using fluoroscopic visualization to maintain surveillance of both the introducer advancement and positioning of guide wire in the left ventricle. Insert dilation balloon through the 18 French introducer sheath and advance to the ascending aorta. Now, let us perform a rapid pacing test. Set pacing generator to an output rate of 160 to 200 beats per minute. Note, output range will vary among patients. Begin pacing. As shown here, a successful test is defined as one-to-one -one pacing capture with an immediate drop in pressure and elimination of the systolic-diastolic waveform. Upon completion of successful rapid pacing test, we can continue to the pre-implant dilation. Reposition the camera to the ideal viewing plane as previously described and advance and position the balloon across the native valve while maintaining strict fluoroscopic surveillance of the distal tip of the guide wire in left ventricle. Give the command to start rapid pacing. Following a significant drop in systemic blood pressure and pulse pressure, inflate balloon. Once the balloon is fully inflated, deflate the balloon and stop rapid pacing. Remove balloon while maintaining guide wire position across the native aortic valve. Load the Medtronic core valve system onto the O35 super stiff guide wire and advance to target position. Use the micro knob to begin the initial deployment of the bioprosthesis.
During the deployment process, various angiograms should be taken to ensure proper valve placement. Withdraw delivery catheter to the ascending aorta while maintaining guide wire position. Close the delivery catheter capsule and remove the delivery catheter over the guide wire. Advance a six French pigtail catheter over the guide wire into the left ventricle. Remove the guide wire and connect the pigtail catheter to the transducer. Using both pigtail catheters, record aortic pressure gradient. Remove 6 French pigtail over standard guide wire. Perform post-implant aortogram with the 5 French reference pigtail. Remove the 18 French introducer sheath and complete the puncture site closure using an appropriate closure technique to avoid clinically unacceptable arterial stenosis at access site. Perform post-procedure subclavian angiography to ensure acceptable closure. Remove the 5 French reference pigtail over a standard guide wire and close access site per hospital protocol. Please note, this animation is not intended to replace physicians' medical judgment with regards to patient care, and it is expected that one or more steps of procedure may be modified specific to the individual patient's needs.